Okay, so now that we have reviewed Zero the Hero and kind of extended it, I'm going to show you today how to do three digit by one digit multiplication using the area model. Or sorry, one digit by three digit. So here's our first example is eight times 115. Well, eight times 115 is really hard for us to do, right? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna break apart this 115 into expanded form. That way we only have to deal with really one digit at a time. So you'll here's what I mean. So we break apart 115 into 100 because of the one in the hundreds place, 10 because of the one in the tens place, and five because of the five in the ones place. So we took 115 and we wrote it in expanded form. Now we are going to take each of those three numbers and we're gonna multiply them by eight. So the first one is eight times 100. Well, we know that eight times one is eight, and then we just add two zeros to the end of that to make 800. Then we do eight times 10, and we know that eight times one is eight, plus one zero at the end of that eight is 80. And then finally you have eight times five. We know that eight times five is 40. So we have 800, 80, and 40. So we add all of those together. We have 800 plus 80 plus 40 together to get our answer of 920. So eight times 115 is 920. All right, let's try another one. So now we have two times 355. Our first step is to break apart that 355, okay, into 350, and five. We're going to write that 355 in expanded form. So we have 350 and five. And now we are going to multiply 300 times two. So again, we know two times three is six. And then you add the two zeros at the end of that six because you have two zeros and 300. Okay, so two times three is six with two zeros at the end is 600. Then two times 50 or two times five is 10. And then we have to add another zero because of the zero and the 50. So that gives us 100. And then finally two times five, which gives us 10. Okay, and so we add all of those together, 600 plus 100 plus 10. And that gives us 710. And that's our answer. So two times 355 is 710. Next, six times 147. Our first step is to break apart this 147 into expanded form, right? So 147 in expanded form would be 140 and seven. And then we're gonna take each of those parts and multiply them each by six, starting with 100. So six times 100 is 600. 6 times 40, well, that's kind of hard, but if we remember 6 times 4 is 24, we put a 0 on the end, so that 24 turns into 240. And then 7, or 6 times 7, is 42. Now we take our 600, our 240, and our 42, and we add them together to get 882. So six times 147 is 882. Next, I have four times 222. What am I gonna do? My first step is to break apart 222 into expanded form. So that would be 220 and two. Now I'm gonna take each of those parts and multiply them each by four, starting with 200. So four times 200 might be hard, but we know that four times two is eight, and then we just add two zeros on the end, so 800. Four times 20 also could be hard, but we know that four times two is eight, and we add one zero on the end because of the zero and the 20. So four times two is eight, add one zero to the end, so that'd be 80. And then four times two is just eight. So now we take our 800, our 80, and our eight, and we add them all together to get 888 as our total or as our product for four times 222. 
Okay, let's try another one. So we have 6 times 136. Again, our first step is to break apart that 136 into expanded form. So 136 in expanded form, we would have 100, 30, and 6. And now we're going to multiply each of those parts by 6, because that's our other factor, is 6. So 6 times 100 is 600, right? 6 times 1 is 6, and then you add the two zeros because of the zeros in our 100. Then we have 6 times 30. Well, that's a little difficult, but if I remember my zero the hero trick, it's a little bit easier. So 6 times 3 is 18, and then I add an extra zero in there because I have a zero in my 30. So 18 add a zero at the end, 180 is 180. And then 6 times 6 is 36. So now I have all of my products. My final step is to add them together. So 600 plus 180 plus 36 is 816. So 6 times 136 is 816.